So I went to Walmart with my nurse. I had some money left on my insurance card that I wanted to use because I'm not sure if I'm going to lose it because the next quarter is starting for my insurance card. So I'll see if the money rolls over onto my new card. There's like three or four dollars left. I'm going to see if the money rolls over. And if it does roll over, then I won't have to worry about trying to use all the money. Um, but I did get some good stuff. So let me show you. Um, most important thing I got is a blood sugar monitor because um, I know I deal with low blood sugar sometimes. I um, frequently have low blood sugar when I'm fasting for a long period of time. So, um, so like when I wake up in the morning, I frequently have low blood sugar. Um, so we're going to test that. And this is the AccuCheck um, blood sugar monitor. I got a couple other medical things. I got some BioFreeze. Always good to have. This is the gel. And this might be a little too much info, but I got some um, Lotrimin antifungal, which this time of year when it's really humid, I can sometimes deal with things that are not so fun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, we got that. Okay. So I'm going to test out this blood sugar monitor. I've never used one before, but they used to use them on me in the hospital. Um, so I kind, of, I kind of got a general idea of how to use it. I'll read the instructions too. So all I've eaten today so far is that corned beef and cabbage and um, this coffee. And I had a little bit of the sweet tea on my way in here. Um, from We just got that at McDonald's. And, but last night I felt like extremely low blood sugar. So I ate like two bowls full of cereal last night. So we'll see what my blood sugar is at. I think the most, the best time to take my blood sugar would probably be when I first wake up in the morning before I eat anything. And I'm just got to get used to like what blood sugar readings are good, what are bad. Um, because, you know, it's just a good thing to learn. All right, let's see here. We have user's manual for your single patient use only. Okay. Have it in Espanol. Let's see how I... It's a little tricky to open. Why do they make it so tricky to open? I can't get it open. My nails are like in the way or some shit. Let's see if it has instructions on how to open the freaking box. It doesn't tell you how to open the box, and that's what I'm having an issue with. Okay, I'm just going to try and cut this thing off of here because I think that's where the hang-up is.
Come on. Why would they make it so difficult to open? Yeah, I got it. Okay. We're going to make sure this doesn't close again. Because it does not make any sense how it, it's supposed to open. It's, it's not idiot proof. Okay. I'll keep it in some other device. Okay, what do I? Why is this so difficult? Okay, highly don't recommend this blood tester because it's too difficult to open. Like, what the fuck? I'm going to put it in like a little bag, I think. We'll get rid of this guy. This guy is trash. That, that casing is trash. Okay. So what do I do here? Okay. I think I prick it with this. And then I put it on one of these test strips. these little test strips here. Or now what am I doing? Okay, let's let's read the instructions. So much bullshit. Okay. I think I have to get some papers for these because I. I thought it came with papers, but I guess it doesn't. It doesn't come with papers, so I gotta buy some papers before I can use this. I don't fucking know what I'm doing here. Okay, I guess we're not testing the blood sugar because I don't think I have all the parts. I think I need paper or some shit. I don't really know what I'm doing. Okay, let's read. Turn the meter on or off. Navigate the option and set a selection. I do. 
Why do they gotta make it so complicated? Okay, I'm gonna watch a tutorial. Because I can't read that shit. That just makes my dyslexia get fucking crazy. In this video, we'll walk you through setting up and using your AccuCheck Guide blood glucose meter. The first thing to do is to make sure you have everything you need to start testing. You should have the following items, an AccuCheck Guide meter, a container of AccuCheck Guide test strips, I didn't get those. SoftClicks Lancing device, and an AccuCheck SoftClicks Lens set. If you can't find something, or if you need assistance with any of the steps that follow, just contact AccuCheck Customer Care. Next, let's walk you through setting up and using the AccuCheck SoftClix Lancing Device. First, you'll need to load your Lancing Device. For this, you will need an AccuCheck SoftClix Lancet. Remove the cap from the Lancing Device. Now insert the Lancet into the Lancet holder as shown. Push it all the way in until it clicks in place. I don't fucking know. Twist and remove the protective cap from the lancet to expose the needle. Place the cap back. Yeah, I'm gonna have to buy more papers, I guess, to go with this. It's stupid. It should've came with everything. That's stupid. <sighs> I really don't like this. Know how to fucking use it, and it was really hard to open. Okay, that's trash. I guess I can't shake my uh, blood sugar. Because it didn't come with everything I needed. Piece of shit. <laughs> it's basically garbage. I want to just throw it away. That's how frustrated I am. I just want to throw it in the trash. It should have came with everything. That put me in a very bad mood. I need to clean though. I need to clean and um, I'm supposed to clean the kitchen today and I need to clean the living room because my brother's coming over tomorrow. But really I just want to sleep. So I was all excited. I wanted to check my blood sugar and get into that so that I can have a better management of my hypoglycemia. But fucking it didn't come with everything. That's stupid. What does it say here? Yeah, it doesn't come with the strips.
Now I have no money to buy the strips with. Stupid. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to go pout for a little bit and drink my sweet tea. And then I guess we'll get to work on cleaning the kitchen. I think I need to listen to some music. That will probably help me feel better. I might just, like, try and return this and get a different brand. Because... I'm pissed that it didn't come with everything. I feel like it should have came with everything. All right. I'm going to go. See ya.